Hi, this is Jolie from Jolie and the Jackalopes. Hello out there in Radio Dreams land. There's Dylan. This is Dylan Cavalier, everybody. That's too tall back there playing drums. <laughs> uh, yeah, hello. Hello, Facebook. I hope y'all are having a good Monday night. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be talking to you just a little bit about Radio Dreams, which is my mama Kimmy Rhodes project that she's been working really hard on. It's this duet memoir um, of Kimmy and Joe Gracie. Here, I feel like y'all are seeing too much ceiling. Let's get you not ceiling. There we go. That's better. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so it's this duet memoir of Joe Gracie and Kimmy Rhodes. And that's my mama and my daddy. My name is Jolie Morgan. Good night, Gracie. And um, I started this band called Jolie and the Jackalopes. A little bit of history for you. Back in the day, Joe and Kimmy had a band called Kimmy Rhodes and the Jackalope Brothers. And even before that, it was uh, the Jackalope Brothers. And that was Joe Gracie and Bobby Earl Smith. There's Jason. <laughs> here, Jason, say hi. hi. <laughs> we'll see if we can get everybody in here in a minute. Um, but anyway, uh, so Joe Gracie and Bobby Earl Smith had uh, the Jackalope Brothers. And that's really my my roots, my childhood. That's kind of my, my heart and soul and everything that I grew up with as Joe and Kimmy's daughter. And the thing is, I always knew growing up that I had really cool parents. Um, but just to tell you a little bit about us and where we're coming from, I knew that I had really cool parents, but I didn't quite know that everybody else knew it until uh, my daddy, Joe Gracie, passed away in 2011. We had his funeral there down the road at Moody Theater or ACL. For those of you who are not in Austin, Texas, you probably know it as ACL Live. And um, when we had the memorial service there, there were so many people who showed up, uh, so many people who had stories and who gave a lot of love and gave a lot of history. And that was this really neat moment in time where all these people started coming out of the woodworks and, and uh you know, documentaries and museums and stuff started asking about my daddy, and I'm just going to call him daddy from now on. If I say daddy, it's Joe Gracie and mama, that's Kimmy. Um, but so they started asking about daddy, and um, <clears throat> I was at an interesting point in my life, too, where I had to figure out who I was going to be and uh, who I wanted to, to grow up as, and this little light bulb kind of went off as I thought about how many people were really interested in my daddy's history and his part in Austin music. And so it was kind of like, well, yeah, of course, you know, I'm a jazz singer and everything, but it kind of makes sense to move towards country and rockabilly or cosmic Billy, as we've been calling us here with Jolie and the Jackalopes, because we've gotten, um, you know, we're, we're doing a little bit like mama and daddy did back in those days, which is that old, old Austin spirit. Well, it's a, you know, hot rodding, skinny dipping, beer drinking, joint smoking, <laughs> uh, anywhere from rockabilly to, to western swing, all that stuff, that's right, um, and uh, and that was just old Austin, you, you could be everything and anything all at once as long as it had some sort of American roots to it, um, and so uh, <clears throat> I wanted to kind of capture that spirit and I realized that I had a little bit of a, a torch to bear. I had I had something that I needed to carry on. I had a, a legacy to carry on. And so I started Jolie and the Jackalopes and I've been helping Mama a lot with um, working on this project for Radio Dreams. So thank you, thank you to all of you who have already supported uh, her Kickstarter, supported this campaign. Hi Mama, I see you. Hey Steph, love you too. <laughs> um, but thank you so much um, to those of you that have already supported the, the Kickstarter and um, are sharing it. it. It means a lot to us. Um, so I wanted to help my Mama out um, by talking to you a little bit about my mama and my daddy about Joe Gracie and Kimmy Rhodes and, and everything that they've done as my parents, but also to inspire me. So if you have any questions about what it's like growing up with these amazing, cool folks, uh, you know, daddy has a really important legacy in, in Austin music history and Texas music history and country music history. Um, so yeah, at some point I'll, I'll answer any questions you have about them. And uh, But for now, what I want to do is uh, with Jolie and the Jackalopes, based on Kimmy Rhodes and the Jackalope Brothers. Uh, you know, we're, we're doing uh, one of Daddy's tunes tonight, and we're going to do one of Mama's tunes tonight. 
And, uh, and then we're going to do a couple of original things as well, and maybe we'll throw an extra one in, uh, maybe Texas Blues or something. I don't know. We're just going to see where this night takes us, but we're just here to have fun and promote this Kickstarter and tell you thank you and answer your fun questions you might have for you and, um, <clears throat> and play you some songs because uh, I want to do some of the songs that Mama used to do before she went the more Americana route that she's at now and that maybe fell off her set list a little bit. And because uh, as her kiddo, I just want to carry on the tradition, family tradition kind of thing. And um, so, yeah, we'll do some originals, one of Daddy's, one of Mama's. But we're going to do a Joe Gracie song here first, and it's called Deep in Love. Y'all ready? All right. <clears throat> here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two. Joe Gracie song. I'm see y'all saying hi. Yes, hi everybody. Yes. Woo! <laughs> it's so fun to see these folks tune in. I saw that someone scrolling by actually knew Daddy and used to listen to him on the radio back in <clears throat> the old Coke FM days. So to tell you a little bit more uh, about Joe Gracie, if if you're tuning in and maybe you're you're uh, one of the folks who's from the Jolie and the Jackalope side of things instead of the Kimmy Road side of things and, and you don't know all the history attached. Uh, <clears throat> so Joe Gracie was, was my daddy and um, he did a lot here in Austin when, when he came here uh, from Fort Worth. Uh, he, was a, he was a student at UT, so hook him. Um, <laughs> but that's not one, that's one of the, not one of the accomplishments, but we still hold some pride for it. Um, but he was a DJ at Coke FM and they used to call him the, the godfather of progressive country, which is really cool. Cause he was playing, you know, Willie kind of when people wouldn't, and he was playing Flaco Jimenez on the radio, um, making sure that people knew that Conjunto music was important for everybody to listen to. Uh, he was... <clears throat> the first talent coordinator for Austin City Limits back when it first started. Um, and, you know, he was he was the voice of this movement. Everything that we love about Austin, uh, before Daddy lost his voice in 1978 to cancer, he was, he was the voice of the original movement that made Austin so cool. Um, here, actually, in, in honor of Joe Gracie. Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> some rosé. <laughs> cheers, yeah, Jack cheers. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> But anyway, so he, he did all this stuff to make Austin cool. And I think back to talking about radio dreams and, and everything that Kimmy Rhodes, that Mama's doing with that. Again, it's this duet memoir. So it's going to be some of Daddy's stories and some of Mama's stories and some of Mama's poetic um, incredible writing and then some of daddy's <clears throat> really witty crazy stuff and um, you know I, I think it's important for folks to to know about and read and share with other people because that's that's Austin history and whether you grew up here Dylan you grew up here right yeah raised. Dylan was born and raised he's one of those babies at the armadillo oh. world headquarters oh. and uh, you know I was I was born and raised here and I grew up that's how I learned how to dance two-step was at the broken spoke um, those the rednecks and the uh, <clears throat> and the hippies would let me stand up on their boots, and that way I learned a two step or I learned a waltz. Or and then when I'd get tired, I'd just go lay down in Daddy's base case there at the Broken Spoke. Um, so you know, a lot of us who grew up here, but also I want folks to read it who who maybe uh, didn't get here till college, or maybe you just got here today. If you did, hello, welcome to Austin. I'm happy you're here as long as you do a couple things. <laughs> Uh, I'm so 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 happy you're here because it's an incredible town but just be sure and go see live music and um, support the folks who are still around that made Austin cool like Kimmy Rhodes and Marsha Ball and Eddie Wilson and you know there are a lot of people around who um, made Austin great that you can still go see today and you should you should go see him live so uh, you know going to see live music is one of those things but <clears throat> read this book read read radio dreams and for now support the Kickstarter so that uh, you can know everything about it and there's an audio documentary as well so you can hear the music you can hear all the uh, some clips of daddy's voice before he he lost it in the 70s which is really cool um, so the audio documentary is unbelievable with Bob Harris involved and, and Beth Nielsen Chapman and you know there are a lot of people behind it who believe in it but hopefully you will too even if you just got here to Austin and I guess the point is that, <clears throat> you know, everybody's talking about how Austin's changing so much, and it is, um, but I like to think that no matter how much they change the makeup of it, even if they turn buildings into, uh, what do you call them, Jason? Cabinet. Filing cabinets. Oh, yeah. Even if every building in Austin looks like a filing cabinet yeah. and there's nothing you can do about that, you can go uh, hear live music and you can know the history of it and you can support folks um, who made Austin what it is today who made Austin cool is all get out and uh, and my daddy Joe Gracie was one of those people and my mama is continuing that as well so doing this you can be part of the future of it and you know daddy kept everything like every scrap of paper every poster every little note I mean from football icons back in the day Texas football to musical icons to everybody there's letters and and uh, studio notes and photographs and you know there's like Billy Gibbons in there somewhere and there's Ray Benson in there and um, you know there's just a lot of a lot of cool music history that I just can't wait for y'all to see but it's been a, lab a labor of love yeah it is very cool isn't it CJ I agree <laughs> um, but it's been a labor of love having to archive all this stuff and make sure it's prepared uh, for museums and prepared properly and, and everything acid free it's it's been an undertaking in my life for sure. It's 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 been something I'm happy, happy, happy to do. But now it's your turn to to help us out and um, make sure that this history is part of the future of Austin and the present of Austin and not just the past of Austin as well. Um, so the next song we're gonna do is one that my mama wrote because, uh, like I was saying earlier. The, the spirit of the jackalope is to do anything from rockabilly to Texas swing, western swing. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, girl. Um, so we're going to do a song that my mom wrote called Little Chevrolet, and uh, which makes me real happy because I have a 1950s Chevy. So um, I love this one. And this one's kind of on the rockabilly side. So we're going we're gonna to try to rock it out for you. And uh, thanks for writing this song, Mama. It's really cool. We love it. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Here we go. <clears throat> one, two. One, two, three, go!
<laughs> All right. Thanks, Kimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Dylan, there's somebody saying hi to you. David. <gasps> David's saying hey to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know anybody. <laughs> thanks so much for tuning in. You know. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Dylan knows David, more people than anybody. <laughs> Call me. Get in touch with oh, me. Oh, even wow. my weenie dog's getting involved now. Are you stuck <laughs> over there, baby? <laughs> Well, the weenie dogs love Kimmy Rhodes as well and love Joe Gracie, but we call them Meme and Pepe when it comes to that. Um, anyway, yeah, that was a song that my mama, Kimmy Rhodes, wrote called Little Chevrolet, and um, that's, that's always a good rockin' tune. Now, I want to say, I want to introduce you to my band before we play another song, but I'm so sorry we don't have a, a lead guitar player here with us tonight, but... Typical of Austin, almost everybody plays in about 10 other bands. And our sweet, 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 good rock and guitar player, I'm so sad y'all can't hear tonight. He's got another gig. So when I'm when we're done doing this, wait till we're done. When we're done doing this, go down to the Continental Club because uh, Ruby D and the Snake Handlers are yeah. playing with Hillbilly Casino. Yeah. Uh, so shout out to Ruby D. And, and um, our guitar player, Jorge Harada, is, is her husband. So he's a snake handler and a jackalope. Um, which, you know, I think a jackalope could be a snake handler, really, if you think yeah. about it. I think a jackalope could could really handle a snake. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so y'all be sure and go see them down at the Continental Club at 10. Again, supporting live music. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so here, say hi to the band real quick. Maybe I can even take you around to see them for a minute. We got Too Tall back there on the drums. Yeah. Say oh, howdy. Sit <laughs> sitting in front of a Kimmy Rose and the Jackalope vinyl back there. Oh, yeah. There's Mr. Jason Music over here howdy, playing rhythm guitar for us. <laughs> and this is Dylan Cavalier over here on the stand-up bass. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the band, and uh, oh, that's oh, yeah. that's Layla there, looking looking pretty. There's our jackalope. <laughs> but uh, anyway, <laughs> we love we love kidding around here with Jolie and the jackalope. So that's sure. Well, and as uh, old cowboy Jack Clement always said, you're in the fun business. So if you're not having fun, you're not doing your job, right? <laughs> but uh, anyway, so yeah, um, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the the project that's going on. If you're just tuning in. I am Jolie Morgan Goodnight Gracie, but a lot of people just call me Jolie Goodnight or Mama Goodnight Works too, or Jay Grace, you know, whatever, whatever you want. Um, but I'm here with my band Jolie and the Jackalopes, and it's sort of uh, keeping on the, tra the Jackalope tradition in the Gracie Rhodes family. Um, <clears throat> and if, uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, please go see Kimmy Rhodes' Kickstarter. It's for the duet memoirs with Joe Gracie. Um, my daddy and there's so many cool old Austin stories and letters and just it's it's unbelievable and it's funny and it's gonna make you cry and it's gonna make you laugh and then it's gonna make you laugh so hard that you're crying again um, so you know have a shiner with you or something or a bottle of wine but uh, but anyway so check out the Kickstarter please it's really cool and we worked really hard on on archiving all this old Austin history we want to make sure that you can see it and that everybody in museums can see it but we can't do that without you so be sure and share this and thanks to all of you who have already been sharing it like crazy we love you love you love you um, but so to tell you uh, about Kimmy Rhodes I, I talked about daddy and and the thing is if you see mama around town she's gonna talk about daddy but I wanna be sure and talk about her a bit cuz um, <clears throat> she is so incredible to be taken on this intense undertaking of making sure that my daddy's legacy is placed um, in music history and that takes a pretty strong awesome woman to do that and that's the thing about Kimmy Rhodes is she's a, an amazing mother I'm always inspired by her that's why we have Jolie and the Jackalopes cuz I've got a mom who says hey uh, let's get you out in front of as many people and, and she's really supportive and um, <clears throat> you know she's the reason I got to grow up all around the world with all these amazing people and you know Kimmy Rhodes has a really cool story too she's not gonna talk about it as much as I am so I'm gonna talk about it for her but you know she's the one that made Waylon Jennings stop and go whoa who is this and David Conrad there one of the song song men of, of Nashville Tennessee say whoa who's this and you know she she was the chick who got to hang out with Willie and Waylon and the boys and be the, the outlaw sweetheart. And, um, and so I want to make sure that her legacy is, is placed as well um, because her story is incredible and cool and uh, she's smart and funny and, and talented. And, um, 
you know, her, her songwritings are a big, her, her songwriting is a big inspiration to me as a, as a little songwriting girl too. Um, <clears throat> and you know, mama's story is different from daddy's and they, they came from different backgrounds, different parts of Texas, different lives, different, different people, but she became his voice after he lost his. And so their story is uh, part of music history, but there's also a lot of love there. Um, so if you're in the love stories, and I don't know who isn't, you're you're gonna love this audio documentary and book. Um, <clears throat> so uh, because I've been so inspired by my mama, and she always taught me in in showbiz, you've got to be brave and stupid. Um, and I'm smart, but I'm brave and stupid all at the same time. And so I'm happy to uh, show my own songs to people now. I've got getting braver and braver all the time. <laughs> uh, you know, when you're the kid of, of a hit songwriter like Kimmy Rhodes, that can be uh, quite a beast. But <clears throat> luckily, I've get, got these boys who are really supportive of it as well. And they help me with these songs and, and encourage me. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> sorry, let's place Kimmy Rhodes' legacy uh, as well. Not just, not just the Joe Gracie legacy, but the Kimmy Rhodes' legacy as well, because it's important for Texas music and and country music and Americana music and all this root stuff needs needs the story out there and we can do that with you because I know y'all are y'all are awesome that's right she did raise me right Rita <laughs> amen <laughs> so we're gonna do a song uh, here that I wrote and it's funny because when I showed it to mama for the very first time she said that she swore that Joe Gracie that sounds like he wrote it so uh, which I didn't really expect. I had no idea that, that my songwriting was going to be so much like my daddy's. But <clears throat> anyway, this is a song called Drunk on Lonesome. <clears throat> one, two, one, two, three, go. I waited for you in the parking lot. Stared at the pavement, at the cracks where the grass gets caught. I waited for you beneath the stars. Counting minutes, broken headlights on passing cars. Yeah. 
<laughs> all right thanks so much for chiming in y'all that's real cool to see everybody um saying hey and thank you so much for the sweet things you had to say that's that's awesome <laughs> um there was a little bit of a horn section the weenie dog caught hold of a of a dog toy <laughs> so if you heard some squeaking i promise it's not us it's it's this weenie dog and, and the least she, she could have you know. done was playing time yeah yeah well you know she's still learning she's still learning how to <laughs> how to play the mouse horn his dog uh but yeah so um <clears throat> i do want to answer some questions if you have any so be sure and start asking some stuff if you want to know what it was like to grow up with joe and kimmy or what it's like to be in austin or <laughs> uh kimmy just said well done weenie that's right <laughs> your, your meme says well done oh she's so mad at me for taking this toy away i'll give it back i promise but anyway if you have any questions about the kickstarter that we're doing about the about the book or the audio documenting or anything um Please don't hesitate to ask. Even if I can't get to it in the video, I'll be sure and, and uh, answer in the, in the comments. And um, thanks again for sharing it. And please keep giving out the link and telling folks because this is, is important to us. But I also just can't wait for you to, to, to read it and to know all this stuff because it's so cool. Oh, hey, Paul. Hey, hey. So Paul Ward just said howdy. And, and Paul Hi, plays Paul. drums with us now and then down in San Antonio. So uh, we love that guy. And, and he's, he's also a jackalope. This cool thing about jackalopes is uh, they multiply like <laughs> like rabbits you know That's there's true. there's jackalopes all over the country now <clears throat> at least all over texas uh let's see rita how long have you been with your band well i think it's only been about a year and a half now we kind of started talking about it a little while ago but i had to kind of get things together and do this archiving and everything for um for all this stuff involving joe and, and uh kimmy's book so i think we're, we're we've been playing gigs uh, maybe for about a year and a half all, o all over austin and, and san antonio and we're looking to record hopefully in the in late winter early spring and we'll be doing a whole bunch of original songs and and all that and um i'd love to have mama sing a song on it with me because nothing and quite like family harmonies and hopefully my brother Gabriel will play something and sing on it and uh, we'll see who else there there are so many folks who have been really supportive of Jolie and the Jackalopes um, I know Dale Watson's been a great champion of us he loved 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 my daddy very much mm -hmm. and um and he loves Kimmy as well so um thank you Reedy I, I appreciate that oh hey Floyd Domino hey 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 I just saw that that Floyd's watching Floyd was the first person to teach me how to be a band leader um taught me how to how to do all the hand signals and everything and how to look at a jazz chart and <laughs> know what the heck I'm doing. So uh, I, I do love Floyd Domino and Floyd played with Asleep at the Wheel for a long time. So he's part of that old Austin history as well. Floyd might even be in some of this stuff. Um, but anyway, we're going to do um, another original <laughs> tune here for you. Oh, you want to hear? Come here. We're going to do another original song um, for you that I wrote called Sad and Lonely. And then we'll... Um, Answer some questions and, and then say goodnight to you so that you can go see uh, Ruby Dee and the Snake Handlers at Continental Club. <laughs> this is Layla. I'm sorry. This is one of the other jackalopes. This is Layla Pearl right here. Layla Pearl Gracie music. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, yeah, they're having a, having a family meeting. So uh, thanks so much for, for joining in. We're going to sing one more song for you. Um, it's a new one. So, you know, it's a it's a little bit of a, an undertaking for us, but we figured, like, why not? It'd be fun to, to show y'all one of our uh, other original songs called Sad and Lonely. <clears throat> All right. All right.
so much for tuning in. That was um, our last song of the night, but please be sure and, and check out this Kickstarter for Radio Dreams. It means so, so, so much to buy the all book. of us. Buy the book. Buy the That's book. right. Actually, by, by going to the Kickstarter, you're really just pre-ordering the book. You're just pre-ordering the audio documentary, and then you get all this other cool stuff with it. Um, you know, you can do, let's see, where's that magic slate? Hold on, I'll be right back. Um, <clears throat> So you're saying there's like tiers. There's all these tiers to the Kickstarter, and this is one of my favorite ones. Um, if you look, so when my daddy lost his voice in 1978 there to cancer, um, this incredible magic slate was made for him. And uh, <clears throat> and so one of the really cool things on, on this Kickstarter, yeah, you can go to KimmyRhodes.com and find it. Oh, well, the pen is stuck in it, but either way. Thanks. <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> but then it disappears. Anyway, that's that's uh, one of the rewards. And um, <clears throat> yeah, there's also one where you can get a bunch of vinyl, which is really cool, and a cookbook. Or there's all these incredible things that you can get that are that are celebrating this part of of, of history, not just of the family, but of Austin as well. Um, posters and all sorts of cool stuff. So. Be sure and check it out, and yay, Stephanie, thank you for donating right now. <laughs> right. Aww. Did your mom add that win a date with the bass player tier? <laughs> oh, <laughs> mama, did you hear that? Dylan is more than happy to be one of the tiers. You can, you can win a, a, a date with the bass player of the Jackalopes if you'd if you, uh, so fancy. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so... Uh, I saw someone ask something about, oh, she said, I love your style, and I wanted to say, um, my style also comes from Kimmy Rhodes, to be quite honest. Mama, Mama, Mama at this point had been in vogue a couple times because her style was so cool. Um, this was her little neckerchief here that's tied around, tied around she, uh, my neck, and she always wore little flowers and bustiers and whatnot. Now that she's a songwriter and very cool in Nashville, her style is... Um, more sophisticated, so I'm carrying on the the less sophisticated version, I suppose. <laughs> um, but but cool nonetheless. So thank you so much for saying that you like my style. I really um, just carrying something on. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions about stuff, please leave a comment, say hi. Um, we we love you and appreciate you. And uh, as Daddy used to say. Um, drink lots of water, stay off your feet, and come when you can, and, uh, and be sure and like us on Facebook, Jolene and the Jackalopes, Instagram, Twitter, and all that. Be sure and like Kimmy Rhodes, like, like everybody, and, uh, y'all have a good one, you hear? Bye! Bye! <laughs>